Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pro Traders Lounge. My name is Yunus, and of course, I'll be taking a look at the bullish Bitcoin L wave count. Is Bitcoin right now forming a bullish triangle? Let's dive straight into it. All right, as you can clearly see now, Bitcoin is forming these lower highs and higher lows at the end. You can definitely make the argument that we are trying to form a triangle at the end. Uh, if we draw on some trend lines here, it becomes very clear. And this is currently what I'm also watching here. So to simplify everything, going not too in-depth into the L wave count in here, but just simplify if we are still looking for that wave four. Now you can just make it simple and say WXY, and we are still forming a triangle at the end. As we know, WXY triangles are very common, common at the end. As everybody is getting bored, you can just look on Twitter. Everybody's very getting very bored of this, this sideways piece. It is very common that they try to make some kind of a triangle. Either we see still a fake out or not, that's to be seen but then at the end you do something like this and then finally and then at the end everybody's getting awake again but actually not really getting in at the lows here's a quick overview of the LA wave count on the higher time frame what i'm talking about the w x y uh, with the example here at the bottom the example is from the LA wave forecast shout out to them of course um, this would still fit in our count to to be this wave four and then with the triangle at the end with the example as well with the triangle at the end uh, it does fit it looks nice and yeah we'll see what happens so for that wxy how to fit right is something like this and then at the end here with a b c d e so could that be that we are still in e uh, d and forming e still it is definitely on the table it is what i'm looking at i'm also looking at whether we break off this out of this triangle to the highs or the lows it doesn't matter for me um either way a break of these trend lines i would say could be very significant so why not put them on your chart uh, and put an alert on it see what happens on these trend lines um diving a little bit more into the count here as you know this is the higher time frame wave four potentially for the bullish count keep in mind we also have a bearish count but i'm not going to share that on the youtube right now so that's for the members otherwise they don't have anything for them um all right diving a little bit deeper into this wave four here pro traders lounge has launched a new platform dedicated to education welcome to pro traders academy where we transform beginners into professional traders our platform offers a comprehensive library of educational modules and exclusive access to proven trading strategies with weekly education modules and multiple in-depth market analysis aimed at new traders Pro Traders Academy is your one-stop shop for training education needs. Join us and start your journey to trading success today. Uh, also, what I want to point out is why am I still looking for some kind of a triangle corrective piece here is we haven't really seen any impulsive move yet. So from the low, what we came in from here, there was a potential this could have been one two three four five we didn't get it all we got is another three wave structure so corrective that means that there's not really an impulsive move yet to be had so you just trade it correctively and to the worst downside you have another uh, correction so that's why i'm under the impression that this is just turning into a bigger uh, corrective piece here as long as we don't have that clear impulse towards the upside there's just more and more corrective pieces to the, towards the sideways here or it is forming a bigger move eventually to the downside of course uh, it is always possible but for the bullish one of course we can definitely argue yeah, that this is could be that wave y and then the end of that wave four now uh subdivisions wise don't want to get too in depth but yeah there's that count that you could say this is abc very sharp zigzag here it's a rather small one but it is valid in my opinion another three-way structure three-way structure now of course what are you looking for next is another uh, three-way structure towards the upside take a look at what happens at the trend line does it break out i don't mind um, does it see rejection then we could still be looking for another sets of three something like that does it have to come all the way back to the trend line no usually e likes to front run and then finally get out of here so that is how i would simply say uh, see it right now I'm also definitely looking at the high of the trend line here, what happens here, because we have that last pocket of liquidity sitting here. I am putting an alert on that as well and seeing what happens here. Because you could clearly see, yeah, we could see a rejection here, finally coming back a little bit, corrective more, and then finally seeing a move out of there. Um, you would like to see a break with conviction out of this trend line. 
whether it's going to be uh, to the downside or upside we'll have to see but conviction i mean with volume and yeah i want to see buyers stepping in not just something like this and then going down and then that's not what you want to see for a bullish triangle pattern of course let's take a look here a little bit more closer uh what is the other significant resistance we're coming to yeah the golden pocket of course we have to take a look at it is also in the zone of that liquidity area and does it see some kind of a wick here yeah you can definitely take a look and then trade that e towards the downside still i mean i'm sure everybody's getting bored but i could assume that this one still takes like another 20 to 30 days potentially if this doesn't break on the second attempt or we fall from here of course we we'll have to see before we go, I want to give you a quick example of what the lounge is all about. Of course, um, here is a example of the Sunday swingers. Uh, we are making a plan, coming into our green box, um, and then of course seeing the reaction and then trading our plan. If you are interested in more and learning about other ways, perhaps you can always check out the link down below or protraderslounge.com. Hopefully, see you there, and otherwise, we'll see you on the next YouTube video. Have a good one. Bye bye.